माई डियर व्यूअर्स टूडे आई हैव टेकन टेंथ पर सी बी एस ई ओ एम दैट इज एनिमल्स सो इट इज रिटिन बाय द पोएट वर्ल्ड टू हाइट मैन वर्ल्ड टू हाइट मैन इट्स एन अमेरिकन पोएट एंड हु हैज टेकन बर्थ इन एटीन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन एंड डाइट Eighteen hundred ninety-two, but something he he has changed in this society. So in this so-called civilized human society, human beings are running after the worldly richness and the competition among them, and they are complaining to God. so many with so many who want to cry so he wants our uh, world white man the poet wants to take a revolutionary step that the so called human beings uh, modern society or so called civilized society is no more so uh, civilized one so this should learn from the primates or uh, the animals and the uh, animals are better than human beings and he wants our poet wants to be an animal and Resigning and to resign or and to resign with the animals to experience the better life what they have lived. Let us read the poem. Then I will explain you. I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so, so placid, self-contained. I stand and I look at them, long and long. They don't sweat and whine about their condition. They don't lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. They don't make me sick discussing their duty to work. Not one is dissatisfied. Not one is demented with the mania of. Uh, we things not one lives to another not to his kind that lived a thousand of years uh, ago not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth so they show their relations to me and i accept them they bring me tokens of myself the aliens them plainly in their position i wonder where they get those tokens did i pass that day way huge times ago and they negligently drop them so let us start the way to explain i think i could turn and live with animals So the poet feels more at home with the animals than that of dangerous human beings and the human society. And he wants to change himself as an animal to experience the life of an animal. who lives the human being to be rational before he go and it is there the mental condition of human beings are show hard areas and competitive in a world richness our poet is not a 
happy with that. That's why she wants to be a to be an animal and a, uh, to reside with the animals. They are uh, so placid and self-contained. Placid, peaceful. Self-contained. Satisfied. With their possessions. Possessions. So, that means animals are most peaceful, calm than that of a present human. And they said they are self contained That means they are satisfied all the things with them. They are not greedy and they don't want more things than that of existing with them. So, these animals are not giving more complaint to others for their not having, not possessing things. Animals are more satisfied than that of a present human being. So, they don't sweat and why? They never, the animals, never complain against their existing thing. They are very happy with their possessions about their condition. In which condition they are living, animals uh, feel that they are happy. No need to complain, no need to shout. No need to do any fight. They don't lie awake. So lie awake meaning is to open their seals So they don't lie, they don't lie away. The animals are purely different from human beings. Human beings 
are again and again doing same thing, same injustice, same fault, same unjust work, wrong thing and revealing before God that please forgive me. Animal society does not do that. They don't reveal their sins because they don't do any sins. They don't do any sin for what they are forced to be to be opened their sins. So but the human being always doing such things. If we will go to our Indian Ramayana. So when once Ramani is uh, explained at that time one devotee asked to the speaker sir the robber and murderer Ratnagara changed into Balmik just Mora Mora to Ram Ram but every day we are uh, singing we are reciting the, we are uh, talking about Ram, 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 but we are not changed. So here, the speaker told that, see my dear devotee, from which day Robert Ratnagara had taken the Mora Mora Ram Ram name, he had left a his bad deeds, criminal things, but the present day human society, human beings, they are calling Ram Ram, they are reciting Ram Ram, but doing the same crimes for which there is no salvation. There is a, no excusation, no pardon. So, my dear viewers, I had taken a little bit example of uh, Indian mythology. So, same thing. When human being always doing sins and always asking pardon and excusation from the God, <coughs> That, way, that is not accepted by animals. Animals are very open handed and they don't want to be dissatisfied with their deeds. So, human beings are so full of the sins, they are doing the sins and the bad things, bad conduct. But again and again, they are asking for pardon, for the excuses from God. What the animals don't do? <coughs> they don't make me sick discussing their duty to God with a human being. As the present human being, According to our poet, always changing the things, what should be his or her responsibility towards God? But the animals don't discuss. When we are discussing human beings, discuss their responsibility towards God, towards rationality. There is no meaning at all because 
these are called soul according to our poet so it is very uncommon with the animals and they never discuss what is their duty or what are their duties towards the creator towards the god and by discussing that they don't hamper others peacefulness like the human society so not one is dissatisfied the animals are not dissatisfied at all with the we the human beings are more dissatisfied we are get greedy by manner what what we possess we want more and more more and more more and more but the animals are free from this greediness what they have got possessed that that is all that is all which them they are very much satisfied not complaining about their wants not dissatisfied not one is demented so my dear fellow student demented meaning is behaving irrationally with anger with anger or dissatisfaction so my dear students they don't make me yes not one is dissatisfied not one is demented means human being it is so selfish if he does not get he wants immediately he reacts immediately he shouts just like a one mental illness imbalanced person so but animals don't do that they are they never they have never lost their temper so not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with a, the mania for going things mania is mental illness mania meaning is mental illness so if you really go it is the human being behaving very stupid way it is mental illness behaving behaving stupid way. so my dear students we will see and the money are for going things that means this so called the human society is 
so greedy. They are, uh, they are mad after worldly richness to possess more and more wealth, crying for, shout for the more wealth and having one race among themselves. So, not one kneels to another. Kneels to another, hit and a push. Hit and a push. So, the animals don't have the passion of owing the weight, owing the worldly business. They are satisfied. What are, what are their uh, needs? They are very satisfied with that. They don't do the competitions with uh, others to possess more weight like he or uh, like human beings. So, <clears throat> not one needs to another, not to his kind that lived a thousand of twenty years ago. That means this uh, human beings, the human being society. Thousands, thousand years ago was rational by manner. What do you mean by rationality? The noble qualities of a human being. What we are with them thousand years ago. So here our poet wants to clear that man is declared was the best animal. Why do we will call us human beings as the best animals? Oh, they have by footing. No, not at all. The human brain is more developed than that of uh, any other animal or animals existed in this universe, within this earth. That supreme brain is at the apex which Having one judging power, mental condition, judging what is good, what is bad, what is just, what is unjust, what should be done and what should not be done. It was this quality of a human being was thousand years ago. What with them? But nowadays, no human being is just and a rational in their sense of uh, uh, their wise brain. Now, the human being does not judge rationally. They don't use their uh, brain in a just way. And they were so self-oriented, only they know how to grow, how to possess with more wealth, with, comp with a, too much competitions to prove themselves the richest, the happiest persons in the world. So, here our poet tells us not one is irrespectable or unhappy over the whole earth. So, according to 
the rationality. Thousand years ago, the conditions of a human being were they were mostly happy. What they posed, they had posed. But nowadays, it is purely reversed. They are very unhappy. But rather, animal society is happy, more happy than present human society. Not one is respectable, nor unhappy over the whole earth. According to poet, nobody is respectable or unhappy. Means everybody is respectable and happy before or a thousand years ago. So, so they so they are relations to me and I accept them. The animals, what why suffer a time, what the human beings possessed that uh, was posed by that were uh, was posed by now animals. That's why. So they so their relations to me. The animals showing their relationship with our poet. And I accept them. That means which type of qualities? Which type of qualities? are accepted by animals from the side of the poet the poet posed somewhat and they the animals want the poet and the poet accept the animals they bring me tokens of myself tokens they Rational qualities, token means rational qualities of human being. This rational qualities, heavenly qualities. Which is that rational qualities, charity, kindness, fellow feelingness, helpful to others, respect, love in spirit, were there thousand years ago. So they bring me tokens. That means the animals teach our poet and the true poet to the human society the tokens rational qualities what once upon a time the human being possess the noble qualities the essence of our best qualities the essence of our best qualities morality nobility help fellow feelingness charity kindness Understanding. These things were uh, uh, presented there, but nowadays these are uh, purely lost. That's why the animals teach the poet and to human, whole human society to back to that kind of a sense that to possess the rational qualities. They bring me tokens of myself. They evidence. What is the meaning of evidence? Reveal. Reveal. Or open.
an event, events, an event, are open. So, <clears throat> my dear students, they bring me tokens of myself. They evince them plainly in their position. So, they open. Not to do fight. Not to do fight with each other and one another for just worldly richness, for self orientation. Just be calm and peaceful with the existing needs with a human beings. It is they are the teachers. Here animals are the teachers. Not to the poet, but to the whole human society. So I wonder where they get those tokens it is very very uh, matter of uh, uh, smile. He thinks, our poet thinks, from which place, from where the animals get these type of tokens, the uh, rational qualities. I wonder where they get those tokens. Did they pass that away huge times and they negligently drop them? He thinks so many years ago he has means he had that means human society had that rational qualities what they lost gradually so our poet thinks that they teach us, they teach. My dear viewers, our poet wonder, surprise, surprises that the animals, those who are taking the rational qualities from where uh, have they received. Again, he realizes that the animals, perhaps animals learn from him thousand years ago what he has lost thousand years ago with carelessness. With a negligently meaning its carelessness. That means through the poet, animal society gives teaching to the whole human society. Oh, my dear, best animal, human being. Kindly back to the nature and possess the original quality which we are filled with so many rational qualities. Not to fight each other, not to complain, not to be more greedy and possess and to possess the rational qualities. What? Not only our poet, but also whole human society have lost thousand years ago. What was the basic, what is the basic quality of uh, human beings? To be called as uh, the best animal. So my dear sir, viewers, the theme of this poem is very very important. The poet is not only admire how good animals are, but also compare the animals to the human beings, to 
show them path to lead the life rationally. That means here the animal society is the teachers of a whole human society in this earth. So <clears throat> this poem animals which is presented by our American poet wild white man he has taken this poem from his boss song of myself in the leaves of a grass so most important thing is there that nowadays animals are better understanding than that of human beings animals possess all the rational qualities what once upon a time we are with human beings and human beings carelessly with a negligence left them and the animals possess them the animals possessing the rational qualities of a human being and they leading giving a teaching lead to the path of rationality what they have lost so <clears throat> there are the guidelines here our poet wants to show whole human society as the animals are pathfinders to the present human society and the guidelines to the present human society back to the rationality and to possess real human beings qualities such as kindness charity humanity fellow beingness and all the noble qualities so my dear viewers it is enough to explain you the poem animals so rest of the parts we will continue in my last video up to there jai hind